Blackmagic just released a lot of stuff and we're about to cover it all. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rigo with Grizz Media and today we're going to be covering the brand new 7.9 firmware update to all the Blackmagic cameras. So if you guys don't already know, Blackmagic recently released their 7.9 firmware for the Blackmagic Pocket 6K, 6K, the 4K, and the 6K Pro. This new firmware creates a new user interface that we've never seen before and it also includes a very a hidden feature that I didn't know that the cameras could do. So it actually turns out that these cameras have gyro data sensors inside them. Now what that means is that it takes the gyro the gyro data or basically how you move around the sensor and it actually can be converted in DaVinci Resolve um, 18 to be able to be more stable and a better option than just warp stabilization that the software already offers which is not really that great considering that it gives you really bad rolling shutter sometimes and I went ahead and tested it and here are the results hey hey what's up guys if this is me trying out the brand new gyro effect i'm gonna be walking around normally this is me walking with 50 percent of my 50 percent of my effort trying to keep it stable i'm walking around right now trying to see what is going on with this camera when we're in an environment like this so, walking around and a really cool thing that i'm already noticing is that it, the interface just looks a little bit better than it used to I personally think it looks great. Okay, so I'm walking around, we're walking around. Okay, that's the first test. Looking at the normal clips compared to the gyro data clips, we can see that there is definitely a stabilization factor going on here. Much more so than just the regular rolling shutter, it actually looks like the sensor is using the data properly and actually trying to stabilize it better than it would if I just pressed stabilize footage in post. Okay guys, here's the second test. Me trying to keep this as steady as I possibly can. I'm going to take a very small steps. I'm going to take off my shoes now. And I'm going to try to keep this as steady as I can. I'm doing everything I can to keep it as steady as possible. As we walk. Here's uh, me trying to go full power on the steadiness here. Okay. It's a beautiful day out. It's really hot though. I should put on some sunscreen. I'm gonna pan now. See how a pan looks when it's stabilized with the gyro effect. Okay, now we've been shooting at 24 frames per second the entire time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and s there are my chunk goes over there. Right now I'm about to switch the camera to 120 frames and see what the gyro data does, and see how well it stabilizes when at 120. Another great thing about this new image stabilization is that it kind of gives you a better option when you don't have a gimbal. Being someone who already owns a gimbal, I don't really need more stabilization in my footage, but if there is ever, ever a time where I do need it, I have it there as an option, and it actually seems more reliable than just standard stabilization from DaVinci Resolve. Before even accessing this data, we have to have the new 7.9 firmware update. Now. I actually really like the original user interface of the Blackmagic design cameras. I can say that I'm really impressed with how well they managed to keep the simplicity of the user interface while also adding more features. I didn't know that that little button right there in the side, I didn't know that the little button at the center of the screen was a record button until after the update because it actually showed me better that there's actually a record button there. Another good thing to note is that there's more features than ever before. There's calibrations even for the gyro sensor, calibrations for follow focus if you have one attached to the camera, and even one for a gimbal if you have a gimbal attached. The camera also supports Bluetooth now, which I really like, and there's actually a user interface for connecting the Bluetooth cap capabilities of the camera. Overall, the new design is sleek, it looks better, it feels more fresher, it feels like a good refresh that I didn't know we needed. And moving forward, I'm really excited to test out more of the features that this new camera has to offer. And I know that Blackmagic Design also released the G2, which is another camera that they released, but I will be going over that in a different video, not in this one. So what did you guys think of the footage? What did you guys think of the gyro data? Are you guys going to use it? Do you think it's plausible? Do you think it's better than using a gimbal? Let me know in the comments. But that is about it for this short video here, you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to go ahead and give it a like. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next video. It's Drew with Grizz Media signing off. Have a great day, guys.